Is electric really the answer? Maybe you've had one. Maybe you have one already. Maybe you're planning to buy one. What are they like? Are they really that convenient? Do you have to keep stopping for an hour in a garage every now and again and have a cup of coffee and a burger? I'm really not being biased on this. You know, it's all well and good in the first three to five years of ownerships of electric vehicles that are still under manufacturer warranty. But we in the used car market are seeing the rapid depreciation um, and the effect, the real effects on that on consumers and customers coming into me every day that are in negative equity with their finance on these cars. Norway have a population of 5.4 million. We have a population of around 5 million. They have 25,000 chargers in Norway. They have a charging point every 50 kilometers. They thought about this a long time before they started putting EVs on the ground and started shoving them down at everybody's throat. Have you ever thought, Mel, where are we going to charge all the lights of the trucks? Never mind the cars, well, you can charge your car outside your house, okay. The sooner we all go back to walking everywhere and eating grass, the quicker we save this planet and keep Damon <laughs> Ryan happy. The thing with these electric vehicles now, it's exactly like everything that comes out of the Green Party. Absolute full of waffles. And how much is a battery for a Tesla? It's seven or eight grand, second hand. Second hand at seven or eight grand? Second hand, yeah.